these don't. Oh, my goodness. Ow! <laughs> Hit my face. Okay, that actually, this actually hurts. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, it's Sarah. Today, we're gonna haul some books. I don't know what happened in the month of February. I feel like I blinked and then I had a ton of books in my possession. So uh, we are going to just go ahead and haul them and everything's fine. Everything's fine, guys. The first one I have was actually a gift from somebody and I don't know who because there was no gift receipt or note or anything in it. It did come from Amazon and it came from my wish list. I just don't know who sent it. So if you sent this to me, if you're comfortable letting me know who you are, please let me know. Uh, if not, just thank you. I really appreciate it. But that is Legacy of Ash, and this is by Matthew Ward. This is a debut novel, and I believe it's going to be a trilogy. I think the first two books are out, and there's a third coming out as well. Uh, this The synopsis is very vague. I heard about this from Holly from Holly Hearts Books. I'll leave her channel link down below if you haven't checked her out. She's fantastic. I get a lot of fantasy recommendations from her. Um, so the back of this is very vague, but it's basically a war is spreading across the Republic. And there are three characters who have to set aside differences in order to save their homeland. Two of them are brother and sister. And there's assassins and magic and all sorts of things happening in here. But this cover, can you even? It is absolutely stunning stunning. And yeah, so thank you. I'm really, really wanting to get into a lot more fantasy. And this is definitely going to fit that bill for me. And um, so if you sent this to me, thank you. It is so appreciated. The next three books I pre ordered. So they all came in <laughs> almost at one time. First one is the Gilded Ones. This is by Namina Forna. This is a young adult African inspired fantasy book. And I've heard amazing, amazing things about it already. A lot of people have been reading it either early or right when it came out. And I've just heard nothing but good things about this one. And I'm very excited about it. The order that I got was Game Changer by Neil Schusterman. I absolutely love Neil Schusterman. He is the same author as the Scythe trilogy, which I'm really, really enjoying. And this one is interesting. This one follows a young boy who is, well, he's not super young. I think he's in high school, but he's a football player and he gets hit in the head a little too hard um, in one of his games. And he starts noticing some different and subtle changes in his life where things are not quite the way he thought that they were or things were not quite the way he remembered and then before too long he's almost in this completely new universe that he never thought of before and he's looking at things in different perspectives and different viewpoints and um all that so I think that's really really interesting and the last book that I pre-ordered that came in in February was of course a Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J Mass this is the newest book in her Court of Thorns and Roses world. It is a new arc story. So this follows Nesta and Cassian, and I am here for this. I'm hearing some mixed things, only because not a lot of people like Nesta as a character. I was living for Nesta and Cassian in the last book, so I'm very excited about this one. I thought their little angsty I like you, but I don't like you, and blah blah blah, and like fighting all that. I love that stuff, so... I'm, I'm really excited to get into this. This is ginormous, you guys. I did not realize this was going to be 751 pages. So that's a lot of, that's a lot of book, but I'm excited to read it regardless. Then I got two books from Book of the Month this month. The first one is The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna. Definitely excited for this one. I'm hearing really good things about it already. It's following a family that lives in Texas during the Great Depression, and there is uh, the Dust Bowl happening. So that's happening to this family, and they are trying to navigate it and trying to decide if they are going to escape the dangerous living situations or if they're going to try to stay and save their land, save their farm, whatever. Um, so I've heard really good things about it so far, and I am definitely excited for more Christina. And I got a second book. Um, 
from Book of the Month, and that is Girl A, and this is by Abigail Dean. I've heard really good things about this one so far as well. This one follows uh, a young girl who was raised in a house of horrors, is what they're deeming it, and her parents basically kept her and her siblings captive in this house and were under uh, terrible living conditions. And she either escapes or they are discovered or something, something like that. Um, so I'm really interested in this. I'm sure there's like millions of trigger warnings. So make sure um, if you're triggered by anything really traumatic that you might want to look those up before you read this. Um, but I'm very excited to read this one. And the rest are all backlist books that I just decided to buy because I was in the mood to buy books. So the first one I grabbed is The Brave. This is by James Bird. And this is the group read for middle grade March, which I'm going to be participating in. So I went ahead and grabbed this as soon as... Um, Krista and Amanda and Katie announced what their group read was going to be for the readathon. So this one follows a young boy who has a condition where he feels the need to count all of the words that are said to him. Like in a conversation, he counts them all and it's causing him a lot of problems in school. So his father decides to send him to live with his mother, which is on um, an, a reservation. And so he is trying to acclimate into his new surroundings. And I believe he makes a very special friend there and all that stuff. So I'm excited to read this one. Next one I grabbed is The Wife Stalker by Liv Constantine. Very shiny. Oh my goodness. I was really excited when this showed up and it was so shiny. Um, I have really enjoyed Liv Constantine. I read The Last Mistress Parish and absolutely loved it. That's the only one I have read by this writing duo. But um, I'm excited to read more and I've heard good things about this one. So I went ahead and picked this one up. And the tagline on here is she wants the perfect family yours yeah the next one i picked up is a book by julie berry i just read lovely war which is a contender for all one of my all-time favorite books i absolutely loved it so i definitely want to read more from this author and so i grabbed all the truth that's in me and this one is about a young girl who uh, she and her best friend go missing for two years and no one knows what happened to them you know, they're trying to find them, all this, all these things. And then two years later, she comes back, her friend doesn't. And she is unable to speak. And uh, she has to decide if she is going to um, find her voice again and tell her story, or if she's just going to live the rest of her life in silence and um, deal with what she went through. So that sounds really interesting to me. So I'm excited to read this one. The next one I grabbed is Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad. This is on the Great American Reads list. It is teeny, teeny, tiny. And I believe this follows an expeditionist who is uh, doing some research in the Congo and kind of what happens there. And he comes across uh, somebody who um, has been living in the Congo for a certain amount of time. And he's also an expeditionist. And so they kind of... Um, meet and do all that. That's all I really know. I don't know too much about it, but great American reads list. So I picked it up. The next one that I grabbed is The Swap. This is by Robin Harding. And um, this one follows a teenager and she is not really fitting in. She's uh, having a hard time just being social and making friends and all that stuff. She ends up finding a connection with a local pottery owner like a she owns a pottery place she finds a connection um, with this woman and then another woman another couple comes into town um struggling with some infertility issues and then um you see the pottery owner and the new woman becoming fast friends along with their husbands and kind of leaving the teenager out of the picture for now and um something happens at a dinner party where it there is a suggestion that maybe they swap partners for a night just for funsies. And uh, from there, things start imploding. So sounds interesting. I'm interested. When I grabbed, I finally uh, purchased a copy of The War I Finally Won by Kimberly Brubaker Bradley. This is a middle grade sequel to The War That Saved My Life, which I absolutely adored. That is a fantastic middle grade book. It's historical fiction, World War II. Um, and this is the sequel to that. And I had just never picked it up, but I finally did. So um, I haven't read this one yet, but I really want to. 
Then I picked up Invictus by Ryan Groudon. I really need to read something by Ryan Groudon because I have three of her books now and I have not read a single one yet, but I really want to. This one is more of a science fiction type of story. It's a young adult. I believe it involves time travel and there's something about the Titanic in here. There's something that happens on the Titanic and I'm super interested in that. Uh, so yeah, and I've heard good things. Next one I grabbed is also a sequel and that is Between Burning Worlds by Jessica Brody and Joanne Rendell. This is book number two in the System Divine series. The book number one is Sky Without Stars which has been pitched as Les Mis in Space which I'm totally into. I haven't read it yet but um, I went ahead and picked up the sequel as well and I believe this is going to be a trilogy so there should be a third one coming out here soon. Um, but yeah it's a nice big chunky kind of a science fiction fantasy type of thing and yeah I'm excited to get to these at some point. And last but not least I picked up The Librarian of Auschwitz by Antonio Uterbe um, and this is a translated book actually and I have heard just such amazing things about this one in particular and it follows the true story of um, an Auschwitz prisoner who was in charge of like literature. There was an actual prisoner and her name was Dita. She was uh, 14 years old and there were I believe eight books that were snuck in to Auschwitz by prisoners and they were able to get them past the guards. And I believe she was either left in charge or she kind of took charge of these books and kept them safe and kept them hidden and distributed them and all that stuff. So uh, she kind of became a little bit of a librarian while a prisoner at Auschwitz. So um, yeah, again, I've heard really good things about it and um, I'm excited to get to this at some point. I will leave all of these books linked down below. If you want to check any of them out, please make sure you do so. Okay, those are all the books that I hauled in February and everything's fine guys, but I am um, absolutely happy to add these to my collection and get to them when I can. But let me know your thoughts down below. Have you read any of these books? What did you haul in February? Did you pre-order anything? Were there any new releases coming out that you were excited to pick up? And I will see you guys again soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.